the 29th of May 2018 T 17 hours 45 minutes and 47 seconds, 796 Z The Football Association has reaffirmed its support for Raheem Sterling after the England forwards tattoo came under scrutiny from tabloid newspapers. Tuesday's front page of the Sun newspaper led with an image of an assault rifle Sterling had had tattooed on his leg, which the Manchester City forward subsequently explained on Instagram. Sterling said the tattoo had a deeper meaning, as his father had been shot dead when he was a child. An FA spokesperson said on Tuesday afternoon, We all support Raheem Sterling and acknowledge the honest and heartfelt account he gave via Instagram last night. He and the rest of the squad are focused solely on preparing for the forthcoming World Cup. On Monday night Sterling wrote, When I was two my father died from being gunned down to death I made a promise to myself I would never touch a gun in my lifetime. 29th of May 2018 T 16 hours 32 minutes and 2 seconds, 356 Z There are surely few more exciting moments in the lengthy process of transferring from one club to another than finally putting pen to paper on that brand new contract. Unfortunately for new Liverpool signing Fabinho there was something amiss with the document he signed on Sunday after making his £43.7 million switch from Monaco. Though the Liverpool-branded paper read player contract agreement, at the top its content was little more than an old article from the club website. Fabinho's contract read, Jurgen Klopp looked ahead to Saturday's Champions League final with Real Madrid and declared, We are here because we are Liverpool, the Reds take on the Spanish side, the club who've won three of the last four finales of Europe's most. prestigious competition, in Kiev as they aim to bring a remarkable continental journey to a stunning end, that Fabinho's contract of employment is not a one-page A4 sheet, should not surprise anyone and official terms with the Brazilian have already been agreed. He will formally become a Liverpool player on July 1st, Fabinho said of the move, This is something that I always wanted, this is a giant of a team. The infrastructures of the club look exceptional, a football club of this size coming after my services. I didn't have to think that much about coming over, I will try to create my own history at this football club. Hopefully, on a personal level, I'm able to win titles with this club. The 29th of May 2018 to 11 hours 42 minutes and 47 seconds, 696 Z Tottenham fear Shahid Khan's bid to buy, Wembley will end their chances of signing Fulham prodigy Ryan Sessegnon. In the future, right Dan Kilpatrick and Giuseppe Muro, Fulham owner Khan has said Sessegnon will not be sold this summer, following Saturday's 1-0 victory over Aston Villa in the championship playoff final. Tottenham will continue to monitor the teenager, though Spurs believe the newly promoted club will be reluctant to do business with them because their chairman Daniel Levy could soon be in direct competition with Khan to secure An NFL franchise in London, photo, Reuters Spurs will stage gridiron matches at their new stadium and Levy likes the idea of the 62,000 capacity venue one day becoming home to an NFL team in the capital. American billionaire Khan, however, could bid to make London the permanent home of the Jacksonville Jaguars if he completes a deal worth in excess of £500 million to buy Wembley. And Spurs are concerned the looming rivalry between Levy and Khan will mean Fulham would rather Sessegnon went elsewhere if they are forced to sell in the future. Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain are among the other clubs interested in the £50 million rated 18-year-old, we don't want Sessegnon leaving. I don't think he wants to go. He's going to be at Fulham for the coming year, leading us into the Premier League, Khan told the Times today. Tom Kearney is another player who is set to stay in the club want to press ahead with a move to sign Alexander Mitrovic from Newcastle on a permanent basis, though there is still uncertainty over the Fulham future of right-back Ryan Fredericks, who is a target for Crystal Palace. Fulham owner Khan is ready to back manager Slavisa Djokovic in the transfer market, with the Serbs saying he requires players with Premier League experience. 
Chelsea News the 29th of May 2018 t 11 hours 10 minutes and 53 seconds 626 z Chelsea have still not reached an agreement with Napoli over Maurizio Sarri as the deadline to meet his release clause fast approaches, writes Simon Johnson. Sarri is Chelsea's first choice to replace coach Antonio Conte, who is expected to be dismissed this summer. Talks were held with his representatives last week and confidence remains high in the Italians' camp that he will move to Stamford Bridge on a two-year contract with an option for another 12 months. However, Chelsea are still negotiating with Napoli over the £7 million release clause in his contract. The Serie A club are demanding the fee in full despite already effectively replacing the 59-year-old with Carlo Ancelotti. The clause expires on Thursday, but with Sarri still having one year left to run on his current deal, Napoli could theoretically demand an even greater sum after that. West Ham News The 29th of May 2018 T 10 hours 28 minutes and 34 seconds, 766 Z West Ham are exploring the possibility of signing midfielder Joao Mario on loan from Inter Milan for another season. Portugal international, who is currently away with the national side preparing for the World Cup in Russia and scored in a 2-2 draw with Tunisia, spent the second half of the season on loan with the Hammers. The 25-year-old made 14 appearances during his spell in East London, scoring twice, and impressed former manager David Moyes with his consistent work rate, often finishing top of the pile when it came to running statistics and distance covered. While the Hammers are keen on a loan, Inter would prefer to negotiate a permanent transfer and rate Mario at £26 million. Speaking at the end of the season, Mario said, It has been an amazing experience for me. I want to say thank you to West Ham for everything they have done for me as well as my teammates, and my coaches, I am really happy with the last six months and we will. See what happens. Spurs News The 29th of May 2018 T 10 hours 26 minutes and 52 seconds, 973 Z Gareth Bale is not expected to return to Tottenham this summer as his agent prepares for crunch talks with Real Madrid over his future, writes Dan Kilpatrick. After scoring twice, including an astonishing overhead kick in the Champions League final win over Liverpool in Kiev on Saturday, Bale cast his Madrid future into doubt by saying he needed to be playing regularly. A buyback clause in Bale's contract allows Spurs to match any accepted bid from a Premier League club but a return to White Hart Lane is unlikely. The 28-year-old Wales international has not been an automatic starter for coach Zinedine Zidane this season and he was a 61st-minute substitute in Madrid's 3-1 victory. His representative, Jonathan Barnett, is due to meet the Spanish club this week, when he will discuss the options of a player who has won four Champions League titles since signing from Spurs for In world record £86 million fee in 2013, the North London club are not thought to be actively targeting Bale this summer and, in any case, the sheer economics would make a deal prohibitive. Bale remains under contract until 2022 and he is thought to earn in the region of £400,000 a week after tax, more than double the wages of Harry Kane, Spurs' top earning player. Manchester United, Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain are thought to be interested in Bale, who scored 21 league goals in a remarkable final season at Spurs in 2012-13, Tottenham do remain in. The hunt for a player like Bale, who can play across the front three and deputise as a centre forward, in Manchester United's Anthony Marshall and Crystal Palace's Wilfred Zahar targets. Tottenham have previously missed out on both players, having tried to sign Marshall for Monaco before he joined United in an initial £36 million deal in summer 2015. Zaha was a target the following year, only for Palace to refuse to sell, but Spurs could test the Eagles' resolve with another bid. Arsenal News The 29th of May 2018 T 9 hours 52 minutes and 1 second, 610 Z Arsenal are expected to complete the £16 million signing of Borussia Dortmund defender Socrates Papastathopoulos this week. 
Standard Sport reported the Gunners interest in the 29-year-old on May 16 and talks have progressed well this month with a deal set to be completed in the coming days. Photo, Apopostathopoulos would become the first signing of the post arsene Wenger era and it is further evidence of the club's new hierarchy taking shape. Executive Ivan Gazetis stated last week that new head coach Anai Emery was only recommended to the board as the preferred choice to succeed Wenger on May 18, meaning Arsenal's interest predated the Spaniards' arrival. The Gunners' head of recruitment Sven Mislintat arrived from Dortmund in December and he has already rated his former club to sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in addition to landing Henrik Mkhitaryan, who used to play for the German side, prior to his move to Manchester United. And now Mislintat, together with Gazetis and head of football relations Raul Sanyehi, is leading another raid as Arsenal seek to rebuild their squad for a top-four push under Emery next term. They are in the market for another central defender and a central midfielder, while negotiations continue over a deal to sign Switzerland right-back Stefan Lichtziner. The 34-year-old will be a free agent next month when his contract at Juventus expires and it is believed he has been offered a two-year deal to move to Emirates Stadium. West Ham News the 29th of May 2018 T 9 hours 8 minutes and 17 seconds point zero 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 Z West Ham goalkeeper Adrian says he has nothing left to prove at London Stadium and will sit down with new manager Manuel Pellegrini to discuss his future at the club. The Spaniard, who has been left out of his country's World Cup squad following an inconsistent season, has a year remaining on his deal and will be the only remaining senior keeper with the Hammers unlikely to make De Hart's loan deal permanent. The two exchanged the number one spot under David Moyes, with Adrian ending the season as first choice and in good form. With Pellegrini expected to have an unprecedented budget this summer, there remains a lot to be decided with regards to his squad, but Adrian remains relaxed over his position, I have one more year left on my contract. First, I have to listen to the opinion of my team and if they trust me, the 31-year-old told Marca, there have been quite a few movements since we have been on holiday and They are refreshing the squad that perhaps is what they wanted, now I must see Pellegrini's opinion of me, he continued, we have to sit down and arrive at the best decision for everyone. Let's see if they trust me and give me the opportunity to continue playing, I've been there for five seasons and I do not have to prove anything to anyone. At the moment they have not told me anything. Quote. Arsenal News the 29th of May 2018 to 8 hours 13 minutes and 51 seconds, 970Z Arsenal launched a late bid to hijack Liverpool's £45 million move for Fabinho, according to Sky Sports News, the Brazilian will move to Anfield officially on July 1st after the Reds struck a deal with League One club Monaco for the 24-year-old. Photo, Liverpool FC via Gethead Gunners reportedly made an 11th hour bid to bring Fabinho to Emirates Stadium, but Liverpool's swift work saw the deal completed before Arsenal could launch a serious counter bid. Liverpool News the 29th of May 2018 to 8 hours 10 minutes and 24 seconds, 250z Liverpool have begun their summer business in strong form. Following the disappointment of their Champions League final defeat to Real Madrid, the club swiftly announced the signing of Brazilian midfielder Fabinho, who will join fellow new recruit Naby Keita on the incoming list at Anfield this summer. A new goalkeeper has been somewhat of a priority all season, and the need has only been heightened by Lloris Karius' ordeal in Kiev. According to reports from the Daily Mail, the Reds are once again keen to exploit the financial fair play struggles of Roma, as they did to bring Mohamed Salah to Merseyside, and engineer a £60 million deal for keeper Alison Becker. Arsenal News the 29th of May 2018 T 7 hours 43 minutes and 27 seconds 0.073 Z Arsenal are going nowhere with Unai Emery's transfer budget of £60 million, says Emmanuel Petit.
Emery has replaced Arsene Wenger to become Arsenal's first new manager in 22 years, facing the task of returning the club back to the top of English football. Photo, Gethead Gunners are understood to have a transfer budget of around £60 million after two windows of heavy spending, and Petit does not expect Emery to be able to make much of an impact with that level of financial backing. When I hear about the amount of money Emery has to spend, I can't believe it. Where are you going with £60 million? You're going nowhere. With that amount of money, you can put the best manager in the world on the sideline and the team won't change much. There is quality at the club, but not to match the likes of Manchester City or Liverpool. They need to bring in top quality players, I want to say to the board, can you just stop bringing in young players for one year? We've had enough of young players. The club is full of them. It's been like this for 15 years now, we need something else, we need talented experienced players. We need big characters and big personalities. This is what has been missing. For me, £60 million is ridiculous, Liverpool News the 29th of May 2018 T 7 hours 10 minutes and 15 seconds point zero 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 Z Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp shares his new signing Fabinho's excitement about the future at Anfield. On Monday night the Reds announced they had struck a deal with League One club Monaco that would see Brazilian midfielder Fabinho move to Liverpool on July 1st for £43.7 million on a long-term deal. Fabinho said he was really excited about joining a giant of a team and backed himself to win titles with the Merseyside club following their disappointment in Kiev at the weekend. Klopp believes the 24-year-old possesses a mentality which will benefit his existing squad. He told Liverpool's official website, We have signed a fantastic player, but someone who is an equally fantastic person I think, his reputation as a character in the dressing room and his attitude in training has come through from everyone we speak to, he has a lovely family also, adding a person like this to our dressing room only makes us even stronger. What we have, in terms of our environment at Melwood and in the team, means anyone coming in must be of that build. They must be the highest quality person and player, West Ham News the 29th of May 2018 T 6 hours 57 minutes and 24 seconds, 746 Z West Ham are set for a summer of unprecedented spending with new manager Manuel Pellegrini set to be handed a kitty worth at least £75 million, dependent on player sales. There are a number of improvements needed if the former Manchester City manager is going to steer them closer to the long-term goal of European qualification, and he's targeting four or five new additions. One of those additions, according to Calcio Mercado, could well be AC Milan's Fabio Borini, with the Serie A side keen to sell and the Hammers reportedly interested. However, as per the report, the ex-Liverpool forward will not come cheap while Pellegrini will have to rival Italian title challengers Napoli for any deal. An ambitious deal, perhaps. Man UTD News the 29th of May 2018 T 6 hours 54 minutes and 49 seconds, 526 Z Gareth Bale to Manchester United. It's a rumor that has been doing the rounds since before the Welsh winger even made the move to Real Madrid back in 2013, but the prospect of a mega money move appears to be gathering steam. Bale hinted after the Champions League final, in which he scored two goals, including a stunning bicycle kick that he will consider his future this summer after drifting around on the periphery of Zinedine Zidane's squad this season. United, and Ed Woodward in particular, would love to land the Wales forward as a high-profile, marketable star, but the numbers involved could be the sticking point. The Express reports that any such deal could cost United up to £320 million in fees given Bale's huge wages and the big transfer fee Real would demand, and that could put the Red Devils off regardless of their long-term desire for the player. However, those same figures also mean that there are few other realistic options for Bale if he really does see his future lying away from the Bermabu.
Would he take a pay cut to move to Manchester? Stranger things have happened but United currently have other areas to strengthen before splashing out on another forward. The 29th of May 2018 T6 hours 24 minutes and 21 seconds, 260 Z Hello and welcome to another edition of Standard Sports Transfer News Live Blog, with Liverpool wrapping up a surprise deal for Monaco star Fabinho last night, it's bound to be another big day in the transfer window. The 28th of May 2018 T 21 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds point zero 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 Z that is all from us today, join us bright and early tomorrow for more transfer news and rumors. The 28th of May 2018 T 20 hours 38 minutes and 55 seconds 213 Z so the Fabinho to Liverpool transfer saga lasted about an hour. Here's more quickly completed deals throughout the summer. The 28th of May 2018 T 20 hours 17 minutes and 42 seconds, 896 Z Fabinho, has always wanted, move to big club Liverpool have confirmed the signing of his Monaco midfielder Fabinho in a deal worth a reported 50 million euros, 43.7 million pounds, Fabinho becomes Liverpool's first summer signing and will be joined by Naby Keita, who agreed to move last summer, at Anfield in a new look midfield for Jurgen Klopp. Brazilian was heavily linked with Manchester United last summer as a host of players left Monaco and now hopes to win titles with Liverpool, I am really excited about this move, Fabinho told the club's official website. This is something that I always wanted, this is a giant of a team. The infrastructures of the club look exceptional, a football club of this size coming after my services, I didn't have to think that much about coming over, I will try to create my own history at this football club. Hopefully, on a personal level, I'm able to win titles with this club, I will try to grow and learn and improve myself, and to be part of the club's history, the Brazilian had been identified as a replacement for Imre Can, who is out of contract at Anfield this summer and has been heavily linked with the move to Juventus. The 24-year-old is understood to cost the Reds 45 million euros, plus a further 5 million euros in add-ons, and would occupy a holding role in the middle of the park. Fabinho spent two seasons on loan at Monaco from Portuguese club Rio Avenue before making a permanent move to the Principality in May 2015. He has made more than 200 appearances for the club in all competitions and played a key role in their triumphant 2016-17 League One campaign. The 28th of May 2018 T 20 hours 2 minutes and 10 seconds, 156 C official, Liverpool sign Fabinho The 28th of May 2018 T 19 hours 11 minutes and 41 seconds point zero one zero Z According to various outlets, Liverpool will pay an initial £40 million with a further £5 million in performance-related add-ons.